this is one of the things in the golf swing that a lot of people don't understand. It would be much easier because we stand to the ball if we played golf up and down. Much easier. Get much more power from the wrist, much more pass from the elbow and shoulders. And it would be easy to keep consistent. The thing is, we need this action in this plane. So that's what we're going to try and achieve now. A simple plane which will give us a better angle of attack, angle of approach, and apply more pressure correctly. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to turn this, I'm going to turn this club into an axe. That's your log. I'm going to chop the log. So I've got the axe in my hand. I can chop the log with my wrists, my elbows, my shoulders. But eventually I'm going to use my body, eventually. Now I want that action in a different plane. So I'm going to turn my bucket or log into the position that I'm going to play. And remember, the toe is turned down, so the toe should always come back to the correct position. Now from here I'm going to put my elbow and my hands in the position where it's easy to create the simple plane. All I need to do is to get the correct plane is let my wrists cop, my elbow fold, my body coil. Now from there all I do is I pull my arms down. The toe stays behind the hands. The toe stays behind the hands and it's a correct plane. Now from here this is what we talk about with the correct rotation. Now what happens from there? Very slowly I'm going to create the pressure. Create the pressure. And that's giving me my angle of approach. It's not under, it's not over, it's from the inside on path. Inside on path. And my forearms are doing the correct work as I come in. If I used outside rotation I couldn't keep the pressure going down the line of the target. So remember, the forearms move this way and not that way. The body opens up to allow me to go down the target line. I can get the club into the correct position, toe down, not shutting the shoulders, toe down, and then from there creating the correct wrist movement, the correct elbow fold, the correct coil into position, I've got the correct plane. As I'm coming down now, I'm holding the power line, and it's the forearm rotation, but it's not outside rotation. I'll lose the pressure from the shoulder, I'll lose the pressure from the hand, and invariably I'll hit this horrible pull shot from that position. So if I swing down the line keeping that shoulder in the correct position with the pressure from the forearm and the wrist working down, my good shots will be fantastic, my bad shots will also be pretty good. The two World Golf Championship uh, wins were, were solely down to Peyton. Of all the golf courses I've met in my life, um, I've not met anybody that's got a bigger knowledge of the game of golf than he does. I think he's one of the best coaches in the world. 